Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to register for a Coinbase account. Coinbase is one of the Bitcoin platforms that you can use to buy a cryptocurrency. So I'm gonna go through that and step-by-step step on how to create an account on Coinbase and how to have um, your, your bank account associated to it so that you can purchase cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and all those, or TRX. So the first thing you want to do is to um, go to the website, the URL, which is going to be coinbase.com. So here is coinbase.com. And the first thing you want to do here is to get started. So I have this thing, I call it a tornado. So wherever I am, if you can't see my mouse, just watch out for that blinking circle. So I'm going to click on get started. And from get started, I'm going to put my name, my email address, and I'll choose a password. And I have to certify that I am 18 years old. The system will automatically find where you are based on your IP address. You can see that my computer is connected to my GPS location. But if not, you can choose wherever that you are. So I'm going to go ahead now and type my name and I'm going to create the account from, from here. And I've entered all my details, my first name, my last name, my email address, uh, my password, my location, if you want to change that, you can click on that. You can see you have everything there. But I don't want to change it. I'm leaving it as that. And I've certified. And if you need to read your user agreement, you can go ahead and click on this to see their user agreement and their privacy policy. So I'm going to go ahead and create my account. OK, I'm going to save it here because this is my computer. But in real life, if you are not doing it from your personal computer, you want to make sure that you, you cancel that. You don't want it to remember your, your password. So from here, you can see, hey, Coinbase, welcome to Coinbase. You've got $5 in free Bitcoin. After you upload your ID, um, it's verified. $5 in Bitcoin will be added to your portfolio within 24 hours and limited time offer. So this is just a limited time that it give you. And um, I'm gonna put like a, a referral code into this video and you can use that to get, I believe it's $10 when you sign up for the first time. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on continue. Now, after I clicked on my continue, you will notice that it asks me to go into my email and verify that I am the one that is registering for myself. I'm gonna go to my email, I have it open already. And you can see right here that I have my Coinbase. I'm gonna click on that and I will verify my email. Now, sometimes it may go into your junk folder depending on the kind of email provider that you're using, try and check your, uh, your junk or your spam folder if the verification email is being sent to that email address. So I'm gonna verify my address and that will open up my Coinbase. Yes. So now you can see that after I've completed that, I have a check mark, I have three tasks that I need to complete. So they're using that to secure your account. The first one is to create an account, which is completed. The next one is to secure your account, which is a two-step verification. And the third one is to verify your identity. So I'm going to go through securing my account right now by clicking on get started. And from get started, you can see that it says secure your account. One way we keep your account secure in two-step verification 
which requires your phone number. We will never call you or use your number without your permission. So don't believe that anyone will call you from Coinbase. Nobody is going to call you. So this one is just a verification. It's going to send an OTP, which is a one-time password to verify who you are. So you want to click on this Get Started. And from Get Started, it's going to ask for your phone number. So I'm going to enter my phone number now. So depending on your country, before you enter your phone number, you can see up here, we have a country. And from the country, and from the country, if you are in US, you can use your US, it's gonna be plus one. If you are in any other country, regardless of any which country that you are, everything is right here you can select your country and you can enter your phone number right here so i'm from the us i'm going to leave it as us and i'm going to put in my phone number right here that's my phone number and now i can continue to verify my otp now the code is sent to my phone and i'm going to pick up that um, code to complete my um, verification code. So I have my code. And I can click on submit. And as soon as I complete that, the next thing for Coinbase is to verify my identity. To do that, I'm going to click on my get started. You can see I created my account. It has been completed. I secured my account. It has been completed. And now the next thing is to do what to verify my identity. To do that, I'm going to click on get started. And on this page, you can see verify your identity to comply with financial regulations and protect you from fraud we need to collect the following information, which are your legal name, your home address, your birth date, your last four digit of your social security number. And this is for the US and how you will use um, Coinbase. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna enter those informations because I don't wanna expose all my details and I'll click on continue. You can do the same thing and I'll show you the next page. So I'm gonna pause my video right now and, and I'll do that. So as soon as I completed that information, another page comes up, which is now for me to enter my, um, my primary address. I'm gonna pause it one more time and you two can do the same thing when you are following this video to create your own Coinbase account. After I completed my address and I clicked on next, now it's asking me, what is the primary purpose for using Coinbase? So these are all the reasons that they have. You have to choose one based on your needs. So for me, I will choose investing. I'll choose my occupation. What is my source of income? It's I work. What is your employment status? You wanna enter this accordingly. If you're a student, you wanna choose a student. If you're self-employed, you want to use self-employed, if you're employed, you want to put employed or unemployed or retired. I am employed, I'll enter employed. When I click employed, now you can see that Coinbase said you are all ready to add a payment method and invest in crypto. Congratulations, you have just set up a Coinbase account. Now, it is not over yet, you still have to do a little bit of uh, steps for you to get started fully. So I'm gonna click on let's go. And in my let's go, you can see Coinbase say you verify. Now you can fund your account so you are ready to invest in crypto. So investing in crypto, what we just did was to set up an account, verify who we are, the purpose of setting up this account, 
and we are all verified. The next thing now is if you want to buy a crypto or you want to send a crypto, you have to add your account, which is your bank account or your credit card or your debit card. However, you want to fund this, um, Coinbase will give you all the options. So I'm going to go to fund my account. And you can see on my phone, my account, it said, let's add a bank account so you can buy and sell crypto instantly. This is private and this is secure. All you need to do here is to click on continue. Okay, so when you click on continue, it's going to bring up this page. I am doing this from the US. So these are some of the major banks that we have. You can see if I scroll up and scroll down, it's going to display all the major banks that we have. If you can't find your bank here, all you can do is to search for your bank and it will show up at the bottom right here. So I'm going to select my bank. So I'm going to use this bank, which is one of the bank accounts that I have, which is Wells Fargo. When I click on Wells Fargo, you can see that Wells Fargo username and password um, popped up. Now, this is called, we call it like a federated access or an incognito, which means uh, Coinbase is verifying you through your bank. So it is safe. If you are on this page, it is safe just to do what and enter all those details. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter my details and I'll click on submit so that I can fund my account. So I've entered my details and I'm gonna click on submit. And as soon as I click on submit, you can see it's saying sending credentials and it's gonna come up with my account. And coming up with my account, you can see that because my bank is connected to this in the back, my bank is the one that gave this phone number for them to do what? To send a one-time password, which is an OTP, to verify that I am the one that is trying to set up this account to be connected to Coinbase. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on text and I'll get a text code from my bank. And now, I'm gonna get a message. I already got a message from my bank and it's asking me for my code. I'm gonna go to my phone and I will put in my code. So I've entered my code and I'm gonna click on submit now. And you can see the system is sending messages over the network to verify that it is me, that I'm doing what I'm doing. And as soon as I was verified, it will pull up my bank account. I have to hide that because of the details that are there. You will select the account that you wanna use. You select it and you click okay. It's gonna bring up all the accounts that you have with the bank that you use and you select the one that you want and it will automatically, now it brings you here. Now you can see, it say, hi, welcome to Coinbase. You are ready to buy your first crypto. So right now I'm not buying any crypto yet because before I do that, I still need to do what? I need to verify my ID to buy a Bitcoin. So I'm gonna click on verify my ID and here you can see, this is called a KYC. What is KYC? KYC means know your customer. So crypto, uh, what do you call it? Coinbase wants you to verify that it is you that set up this account by yourself, that it is not a robot and it's not a fake person. They're just trying to match all the details together so that your account can be secure. So from here, I'm gonna say I'm using my driver's license. And for my driver's license, it's gonna ask me, how do I wanna verify my driver's license? Do I wanna use a webcam or do I want to use a file upload? So if you have your driver's license already, you can take a picture of it. You put it on a file on your computer and you can pick it up from there to add it. So I'm gonna do that right now and I'll come back with you as soon as I'm done with that. So just one second, I'm gonna do that now and I'll click on next. So from here, 
If I click on file upload, now you can see it's saying identity verification required. I'm going to upload my pictures from a file that I have on my computer. So I'm gonna do just that and I'll click on continue. So when you click on, so if you have the picture on a folder, you can open up the folder and drag and drop. Or when you click on here, it's going to launch your file explorer. This is where you keep everything that you have on your computer, your download, your documents, and all the stuff that you have, your videos and your pictures. And from here, I'm going to choose my image and I'm going to click on continue. So as you can see, I have my the front of my driver's license and the back of my driver's license, and I can go ahead and click on continue. And now Coinbase is asking me to do what? To enable my camera so that they can take a picture of my selfie. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna allow And now you can see the Coinbase wants to take my picture. It says center your face clearly in the frame. And they can take my picture. So it says fully in the frame, no cut of any side turn up your brightness okay so i'm gonna try and do it with a background with no background so that it should be able to get me So, okay, so I've done this, I've tried everything to see how I can enable this, uh, to take this picture. I went to the a clear background just to see if um, this can be done, but still it's not taking my picture. So what you can do when it comes to this kind of situation is to do what is um, you can see, I've done that even with a clear background so that it can take my picture. Okay, center of the frame clearly and do what? And there's nothing to click. So I wish there's something to click. Enable, I've enabled my camera and I can, should be able to take my picture. So in some cases, if you can't do this, what you can do. Is so like I said, what you can do is to um, download Coinbase app on your phone and from your phone you should be able to do this easily. I want to try again. I'm trying to use another camera to see whether this will take me take a picture of me. See I've enabled my camera but it's saying that I did not enable my camera. So. so if you can do this, so you can do this directly from your phone. And what I'll do with this is um, as soon as I complete this, I'm gonna add another video to show you how you can do it from your phone. So, okay, so to complete that Coinbase from my cell phone, so the first thing you want to do is to go onto your phone. If it's an Android or an iPhone, you wanna to go to your Play Store and from your Play Store, you wanna come up and type Coinbase. And it's gonna be an app. So you click on Coinbase app and it's going to be the C in the blue. I have downloaded it already and that's the reason why you can see it says open. So on your page, if you, have, if you don't have it before, all you need to do is to click on install. It will install, then you can open it. 
So to open it after installing it, I'm gonna click on open. And from open, right now I don't have to do get started anymore. Right now I'm just gonna sign in with my username and password. And I'm gonna do and do that. So sign in with my username and password. Um, so, so right now, as you can see, sign into Coinbase. I put in my email address and I entered my password and now I'm gonna click on sign in. When I click on sign in, it's going to send me a seven digit code, which is an OTP, is a one-time password. I'm gonna go grab that and I should be able to sign in. Okay, I've grabbed my code and now I'm gonna click on submit. And now you can see, because this is the first time that I'm using this cell phone to log in into this account. So Coinbase is trying to protect my identity. So it's sending me an email again into my email address to verify that I'm the one logging in from this phone. So I'm gonna do that by clicking on open my inbox. And you can see on my email, it says click on email. So I'm gonna do that. And now you can see that Coinbase is trying to do what? It's trying to verify me. See, your ID has been verified. And I think that was like from 550. I'm trying to push this up so that so now you can see this one is from 849. So I'm going to click that. And now you can see it's asking me to verify where I am. So it needs to, for me to authorize this um, device. Authorize. And now it will take me straight into my Coinbase account. Now you can see I'm in my Coinbase account and now I am going to do my, my identity verification for my driver's license and for my, um, for my selfie. So I'm gonna do that in a minute. So what I did is that I went on to, I went to my phone to do the verification on my phone. And I just went through the same steps that I just showed you guys and it's verifying my ID. I'm gonna send this photo, this video to you so that you can see, I'm gonna post this same video so you can see how to do that on your cell phone to verify your ID. It's much easier on the cell phone. So all you just need to do is to take a picture of your ID, the front and the back. You can launch the camera from your phone and you can take a picture. So that is how you set up your Coinbase account. So this is it for now. The next video that I'm going to do is to um, on how to um, purchase Bitcoin and how to send Bitcoin or how to buy something with Bitcoin or how to pay someone with Bitcoin. So we're gonna go through the send and receive later. That will be the next video that I will, I'm going to shoot. I'm going to, to upload. But for now, what we did was the first thing we did was we signed up for Coinbase. After signing up for Coinbase account, we verified who we are by giving our details, our name, our date of birth, and the last four digits of our social. It verified us by using our phone number by sending an OTP, which is a one-time password to our cell phone as a text message. And now you can see I have been, I've been verified. See that? Now I have been verified. So that verify yourself is gone now. So I'm gonna post this video and you can see how that works. So now checking on my Coinbase account on my computer. Now you can see that it's still showing verify my ID because I wasn't able to verify it on my computer. So I'm gonna refresh my page now and you can see that this verify your ID will disappear. Bingo, now you can see it is gone. So everything that I need to verify here has been verified. So for now, this is the first video, it shows you how to you know, register for a Coinbase account, how to 
um, get an OTP to verify that it's a human being that is behind this by sending a message to your cell phone, verify who you are, upload your driver's license for KYC, which is now your customer, and uh, how to add your bank account by linking your bank account to how you want to use, what you want to use to fund your account whenever you're buying a crypto. So this is it. That will be all for this video. The next video is going to be how to um, buy crypto, how to send crypto, and how to receive crypto. Thank you very much and see you on the next video.